Hey YouTube, so what's up? So, um, I was cleaning out the closet earlier today and I found uh, this here that I did last year, which is a photo book. And it made me start thinking about uh, fine art photography and photographers and just wondering how many of you guys also have created a book of your photos. Um, it's something that I think is pretty important to do um, for a few reasons. I mean, one of which, one of which is... You know, I think it's great to be able to take a look at your work, be able to open it up, and uh, and actually see something tangible, you know, in, in print, and just flip through it, um, and, you know, be able to share it. Uh, it really, I think it brings a sense of accomplishment, um, as well as just... Um, gives you an opportunity to kind of think about your photographs and organizing them into even different categories and different types of collections. Um, this particular collection I did for this book was just uh, everything from basically when I started into fine art photography up until about last year, 2020. And I kind of took all my favorite pictures for the last um, 10, 12 years and put it into this 24 page book. Um, and, you know, honestly, that was a lot more challenging than I thought it would have been um, because there were, I don't know, 20,000 pictures to go through and you know, narrow your selection down to like 20. And that's not quite as easy as, as it seems. But even now looking through these, I, you know, I think for the majority, I made all the right choices. Um, they really do highlight the different eras and the different style changes that I've gone through as a fine art photographer over the last decade. Um, but I think there's another really important reason um, to to do a book, and one isn't just to sell it. I mean, yes, you could sell it. This particular book that I did here is through Pinhole Press, and it's actually, uh, I'll go over it really quick. It's hardcover. It's lay flat pages here. You'll notice it opens straight up, and that's a kind of a bad example of the lay flat. Let me show you a better example, like right here. You'll see how the picture spreads over right through the binding there, and it spreads over both pages. Um, and so I thought that was really cool. I do like the lay flat here. It just it makes it easier to look at, so you can make your pictures a little bit bigger going across two pages versus just keeping them on one. However, I think the more that this is going to be open and closed, it's really going to wear right down the um, right down the binding here, and it might actually create um, a paper tear in between the picture. So. You know, think think about it and think about if the lay flat is really something that uh, will work for you. Um, I say, I think that if it's a book that's going to get a lot of open and closes, then probably not. I probably would recommend um, not doing a lay flat spread. Or if you do do a lay flat spread, make sure you keep your images on separate pages so that your binding here down the center it uh it doesn't interrupt your your picture flow of your photo um and so those are the two highlights there. there's about 24 pages and i think this book ran about with shipping 80 dollars. and so that is quite a bit of money to do one book and so if i was to resell this book even for a hundred dollars i mean that's still it's a pricey book to buy for somebody and so this next time i publish the book i'm probably going to look um probably going to look to doing a soft cover and not lay flat. I can get my cost a little bit lower that way and then I can stay usually probably in the 50 to 60 dollar range and have a few more pages and so I think that is a little bit more appealing to me than this book here although this book is super good quality and I highly recommend pinhole um, but the other good use of a photo book I found is let's say you want to go around to some local shops and you're gonna to try to get some of your photos up on walls in, in local shops and um, in the past I've always just taken my phone out and be like yeah here these are my my pictures but everybody does that now and I don't think there's anything really spectacular there's a wow factor but let's say you were to bring a book and they ask you well let's check out what are your pictures like you can just pull this out and open it up 
And I think that's a, a much more impressive way to showcase your work because it really does show that you're serious about it for one and you take fine art photography seriously and that the quality of the work that's going to go on this local business's wall is going to be high. It's just not somebody who is showing you JPEGs on a web on a web page. So that's one way to also use a photo book outside of just sticking on your coffee table. Um, another use of the photo book, and I haven't done this yet only because I haven't been to an event since the pandemic. So I'm going to use this book to showcase other photos that aren't on the booth walls. And so I guess what it comes down to is there's a lot of uses for a photo book. And maybe the first one, you only buy one, is going to cost you, say, around $100 for something like this, which is a pretty good quality, thick pages, lay flat, um, hardcover. But I think you're going to get your money's worth out of it eventually. It's going to sit more places and be more useful than just on a coffee table. And so if you haven't thought about it, I, you know, give, give it a thought. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges, to be honest with you, is just selecting the photos. It's a lot tougher than it sounds, and it's going to take you a lot more time. And what you're going to end up realizing is that you're a lot more picky on your photos than you thought you were, most likely. Um, so I'll post a few links below. I did use Pinhole Press here. Actually, I heard about Pinhole Press from Leah the Snap Chick, and she did a video on a book that she did, and I was pretty impressed with the quality, which made me also take a look at Pinhole Press. Um, but then I also checked out another video um, by Evan Raft, and he's done a couple on, um, on publishing photo books, and he's got some great ideas, especially if you're interested in selling your photo book and how to approach that with some strategies. Uh, maybe I'll go into that next time with my next book but right now I'm going to totally just recommend you check his video out because they're available today and he did a great job and lastly um I just want to thank you for uh, watching this channel and listening to my thoughts and opinions on fine art photography. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And we'll see you next week.